I was really excited by the script. You know, I, I feel like as an actor, you know, you read so many different stories and you um, go through so many different characters, different roles that you might want to potentially, you know, play. And when I read this one, um, it kind of really struck me with just the excitement of a movie that I haven't seen in many years. You know, it feels like um, the type of film that, you know, we were making in the in the 90s and um, and in the 80s that, that just doesn't really get made anymore, which is, a you know, a smart thriller, which has um, real acting and real moments in it, but it's encompassed in a, in a really thrilling, um, scary experience. I would say she just is kind of raw. And I think when anyone's raw um, and when your emotions are um, really beaten down and you're really kind of an open book, you know, you're kind of perfect prey. Um, so I would say that she's just really open currently and uh, wants a mother and wants that kind of maternal um, aspect in her life, which she hasn't had in a long time. And, and that opens the door for Isabel's character, Greta, to come in. Erica, I think, is a, is a really good friend. And Erica is, you know, the voice of the audience in the movie when, when you know, Francis is running off with Greta and making dinner and making all these plans and creating this relationship with her. Um, she's kind of going like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, that is really strange of you. Yeah. Which I think everyone in the audience is going to be thinking. You truly believe this woman is French. You truly believe that she comes from, you know, a sense of refinement, that she's well-raised and that she is, you know, um, she's smart. And and I think, you know, Greta is a very smart character, but you could almost have seen her as more of um, a, a helpless bag lady in the first script that I read. And when Isabel came into it, she really made it something so much more interesting and so much more terrifying. It's almost a romantic thriller in a weird way. I think it's, a, in in a way, it's, it's, it's not a sexual thriller, but I think there's... Um, uh, provocative moments in it, at least with the uh, with the use of emotion, and, and I think the relationship between Greta and Francis is a very interesting relationship that is hard to put the finger on, um, and it's obsessive. It's a really wild movie, and I think it's going to be a wild roller coaster ride. And I hope that people also really find the tangible um, performances in it. I think each woman's performance is very important and it's not, um, uh, you know, it's not cheesy. It's not, it's not heightened. It's very realistic and very naturalistic. Um, and it, you, you know, you really get taken on a ride, I think, which you, you don't expect to happen. You get sucker punched when you just went in for a hug. Hey there, here's today's daily fact. That slightly scandalous charcoal drawing of a topless Kate Winslet in Titanic was drawn by none other than the director himself, James Cameron. Now, if you want something done right, sometimes you just need to do it yourself. Now, remember to click here below to subscribe for more content or on the side to watch another video.